Hi, it's Dwyer. Gamblersadvisory.com, a free site. Bettingangle.us, a free site. Keeping it free. Dotblogspot.com, a free financial blog. Today is February the 20th, 2020. Let's talk about a stock uh, that right now has been on fire. It's up more than 200% this year since January 1st. And I believe it's a bit misunderstood. I believe there's a secret right beneath the surface. That stock is Virgin Galactic. NYSE symbol SPCE. Right now understand the numbers don't quite make sense. Full disclosure, I'm just telling you what I'm doing. I want people to think for themselves. No one should consider this to be investment advice. Right? Full disclosure, I own some Virgin Galactic. Now, right now, it's, it has a market cap that is more than twice its revenue from last year. So understand, the numbers at this point really don't make sense. But I believe this stock has a secret. It's viewed as a private space exploration company on par with Elon Musk's SpaceX and Jeff Bezos's Blue Origin. Right, let me just say it's accepted a lot of money from a lot of would-be space tourists who want to experience weightlessness and travel around the world. It spent a lot of money developing its spacecrafts, including Spacecraft 2, which can go several times the speed of sound. Right? In other words, this is the Concord on steroids. Well, first I want people to understand the risk involved. Virgin Galactic can execute perfectly. But if one of its space tourism competitors, let's say SpaceX, which has received NASA approval to send humans into space, has actually beaten Boeing in doing so, or Blue Origin. If any of these private space tourism companies experiences a crash and fatalities, that could wipe out a lot of the market value of its competitors as well as itself. So if SpaceX has an accident, that could hurt Virgin Galactic's market cap. You need to be prepared for the risk. This is a nascent, very young, emerging industry. But let's take a look at that industry. Understand Virgin Galactic is very different, very different than SpaceX and Blue Origin. Understand, first, it's already listed. The other two are private companies run by very well-funded billionaires who have a pipeline to private equity. It might take some time before either SpaceX or Blue Origin gets publicly listed. So if you're interested in investing in the space, Virgin Galactic right now is really your primary option. But what's their real agenda? I'm an investor who believes that it's much bigger than space tourism. Its new chairman, Klamath Palihapitiya, in an interview, talked about how its spacecrafts are different than SpaceX's and Blue Origins, right? Because Virgin Galactic's crafts 
have certain similarities with today's modern aircrafts that travelers use to get from point A to point B, to get from this airport to that airport. So let me just say, Virgin Galactic's chairman talked about how using Virgin Spaceship 2, one theoretically could go from Los Angeles to Shanghai, China in two hours. Right? Two hours. Now understand, because the planes <clears throat> or spacecraft are built the way they are by Virgin, one could envision in the next five to ten years these craft being used to completely disrupt the private jet business travel market. Right? That would be worth billions. Elon Musk, by contrast, isn't focused on going from L.A. to Shanghai. He's not even focused on that capability. He wants to have humans travel to Mars. His focus is interplanetary. So understand, Virgin Galactic is a very different company. Very different than SpaceX, right? SpaceX and Blue Origin, they're dealing with rocket ships, not advanced aircraft slash spacecrafts, right? So if you add up the amount of business travel, premium business travel, for which corporations are using private jets. And if you factor in the time savings, right, going from a 15-hour trip to a two-hour trip, and how that might actually appeal to that market segment, right, if you realize that even with the ability to video conference, there's some transactions where you want to meet the other party to the contract face to face during the negotiation phase, during the getting to know you phase. And if you believe that time is valuable and that any technology that can get you to Shanghai in two hours from the United States might actually be something with immense value. And when you add in the ability of that transporter to also engage in space tourism, then Virgin Galactic today, as highly valued as it is, might be severely undervalued, right? This is a market disruptor operating in broad daylight. Don't look at their capabilities today. Don't look at space tourism as the end goal without any other goals. Just consider what happens if there's only one fleet of aircraft slash spacecraft that can get you from New York to Dubai or London or Paris in under two hours, right? Just understand that's what we're talking about. It's possible that Virgin Galactic might have a monopoly on that technology and it's very hard to break in that space in less than a decade. Not surprisingly, Boeing 
has invested in Virgin Galactic. How could it not? So, I'm an investor. I'm just telling you what I'm doing. Um, this isn't investment advice. This is an interesting trade idea that I'm pursuing. Again, the NYSE symbol is SPCE. Let me hear what you think. I hope you leave those comments in the comment section of this video. You don't have to be a supporter of Virgin Galactic. You could be a supporter of SpaceX. You could be a supporter of Blue Origin. You could be a supporter of the aircraft industry, the spacecraft industry. Perhaps there are risks that we're overlooking that you want to bring to the public's attention. I hope you consider doing so in the comment section of this YouTube video. Thanks for stopping by.